hello welcome to the slip slip sis podcast channel youtube channel <laughs> not the podcast um i'm Che. from gabs and this is our channel where we share all about our different things and you are joining us for our kickoff to vlogtober we are coming to you from irvine california gabs is down for a quick trip and it worked out that we are able to vlog film our kickoff video and gals will tell you a little bit about vlogtober so the plan for vlogtober is we're going to trade off and what that will look like is ideally hopefully <laughs> i will film on the odd days of the month like one and three and five <laughs> like one <laughs> And then um, my videos will post on the even days. Shaylee will film on the even days and her videos will post on the odd days, except for this first one. Um, no, I mean, this is an even day, technically. Yeah, and except for October 1st, which I'm supposed to film, which I will totally do, but I don't have my computer in Irvine, so I will post that until October 3rd when I'm home. So I've already messed up the sketch. I guess I could double up. I have a um, six hour essay workshop though tomorrow. No, it's fine. So, it's so on October 3rd, you'll get two videos, double trouble. And October 2nd, you'll get no videos. Oh God. Cause as I told my sister, I dropped the ball so hard it rolled away from me and I can't find it. Cause I forgot my tripod. I forgot my laptop. I was supposed to bring my sock swap stuff over with my sister. I didn't do that. It's at the hotel. Um, yeah. yeah. But I did remember my children, so there's that. Yes, so that is the plan. I am going to, oh, I actually forgot. Um, this is now future Chaley talking about past Chaley. Past Chaley forgot to mention that this sock swap is one of the projects that I will be doing in October. But just after this intro segment, you will see from each of us individually talking about our project plans for October. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> It distracted me. It's a full skein. What do you do? Also, why is it blue? I don't know. <laughs> so, we, this is, we've had, I, we're a bit of a mess because I'm pretty sure in my segment, I walk around my craft room for a good minute and a half because I lost the pattern for one of the things I was going to make and I forgot the name of it. And then eventually it came to me and then finally I found the pattern three hours later, but that's not three hours of content. So don't, nobody worry. We're doing super hot. Come October 15th though, it's going to be good. Yeah, we'll have gotten into a rhythm or yeah. we'll have quit. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to open this. This is for our sock swap. We swap socks, uh, sock yarn every month. Hopefully it's fingering, but Gabs preps these things for Shaylee. I was supposed to have mine too. It is in my suitcase in the hotel, but we are rushing, um, to come here because we got stuck in monster traffic and then our six hour car ride turned into an eight and a half car hour car ride. And then we had some like rushing to the restroom for my toddler that had to occur. So it just, it got away from me, even though Charlie reminded me and I put a reminder on my phone, but then my phone died. So there's that. So we sew up socks this month. We are knitting the Rhinebeck Roomies pattern by the crazy sock lady in conjunction with in, preparation? in, in the spirit of the fact that Rhinebeck is happening this month. We're not going to Rhinebeck. See, slippery, yes, slippery. <laughs> we had to trade sides because I was slipping. Um, so we'll be knitting those, and unfortunately, neither of us will be able to attend Rhinebeck West, which is hosted by the Knitting Tree LA. Mostly it would have been me who gets to attend, but I will be in the Bay Area. So maybe after we open this, we'll talk a little bit about what, what we have in store for October. Okay. Okay, let's open it. Exciting. Yeah. I worked so hard on that, Jay. Why are you ripping it safe? How else was I supposed to get it off, Gabrielle? Here, hold this. Two of these are all nice. She wrote like October on it in this like lovely font. She hand like calligraphy did. Take it away. I wrote, I used my child's marker to write 10 on it. 10. Oh, Gabs, full skein. I very, don't know why it's a blue. Very, um, Kind of like a like an airhead, like you would get when like you're trick or treating. Way, way to make a try. Halloween make candy. candy. To be honest, I think I may have flipped. How oh. would you? This is called Deep Blue Sea by Aunt Jenny Makes. I remember what happened. 
What happened? So what happened was I wanted that to be the August colorway. Mm. But then I had to switch it because I wanted to give you the storyteller yarn so we could have it if we went on the Sierra Nevada yarn crawl, but then, so I had no theme. So this is Ogtober. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. I think this will look great in the Rhinebeck room. I know, and it's fingering and everything. Plus I need the blue anyways for Vubby's, Vubby's yeah, project. Yeah, Excellent, except I already have picked all the colors for that, but that's okay. This is beautiful, beautiful. This is what I will be using. So what, what, what's happening for you in October? Events-wise or pro events-wise, sorry, not project-wise. No, you talk. already talked about that. Yeah. That's where. It's, 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 take this, and this is back for me now. Okay. Um, I'm going to Dixon Lambtown Festival. You are? Yeah, next oh, weekend, hopefully. You going with Dad? I don't know. I haven't asked him yet. You know he emailed us about that, right? Yes, I know. That's why I remembered it was Dixon. Okay. <laughs> so I'm hoping to go to Dixon Lambtown, which is in Dixon, California, which is about two-ish hours from where I live in San Jose. Then I am going to the Renaissance Fair with my... Why did you do that? It's like the 12th, 13th or something, the Sunday, the next, not this, not the 6, 7, 8 weekend, but the 14th. Wow! And I'm going to make my daughters and me outfits for the Renaissance. Well, I have one because I'm dressing up. And I'm a drama teacher, so I've got like a million courses in my classroom. So we're going to do the Renaissance Fair. And then... Some kind of Halloween party for my husband's work, then dad's birthday stuff, then Frankenstein, because I'm a drama teacher, and uh, that's the play we're putting up, and I think that's it for events. Am I forgetting a big one? I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know what your schedule is. I don't know. And then Chase coming to visit, which I can't remember when, but sometimes she just shows up on my door, and I'm like, ah, hey, look, Chase here. So, thank you. Good segue. Uh, I have one week that I will be here in Southern California um, during October. That is my one week that I will be in the office this month. And then I go up to the Bay Area for October 9th through the 29th. So I will be there for quite a bit of time. And so for my first day, I'll be at our parents' place. And then starting after that on the 10th, I'll be with you just oh. for that week. And then I'll probably come visit them on weekends, but I don't have any big things planned other than being gone from my home for three weeks straight. And then eventually I will come back um, to my home. I'm excited for this Halloween because I have a partner who co-manages our tour program with me and we have decided to get our act together this year to commit to a partner costume. And so we are going to be very specifically Kronk and Yzma from the Emperor's Inner Group in the science, like the, the lab outfits. So we are committing to that because I very much so have Yzma energy and he very much so has Kronk energy. So we're very excited. And then we have gotten permission for our tour guides to be able to dress up while they give their tours on Halloween. They just have to somehow incorporate their red polo that is their uniform. So I'm looking forward to being able to dress up this year. I think that's it for kicking off. So we're yeah. gonna have a little bit of a rocky start. Likes to keep it spicy and spooky, a uh, little bit kooky. Always kooky, dude. It's not even a little <laughs> just bit. A, just a taste of kooky. That's us. Uh, yeah. And so now we'll turn it over to Solo, Gabs and Che, to tell you about our projects and, you know, like and subscribe if you want to watch this journey happen. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. We're not stopping our Nick Killies journey either. If you've been following that, that's still going to happen. So somehow we're also going to get up our Nick Killies videos and our podcast video this month. Yeah, or we'll all, we'll collapse in a heap, of, a heap of despair by October 15th. And then we'll be back in it for Vlogmas in December. Oh, yeah. That's Just her. me. I, oh, yeah. I might do Vlogmica. Cause I okay. I can do it for eight days. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Hello. Welcome to Vlogtober Day Zero. Um, so I'm going to just go over all the plans that I have for October and it's a lot. It's like 15 skeins of yarn. So, uh, let me show you my first plan. And I don't actually know what this yarn looks like is the October sock swap with my sister that I do. I can feel it. It's only one skein of yarn. Um, I can kind of see it through it. I don't know. 
I think it's a darker color because it is October. So Chaley and I are doing a sock swap every, um, every month for the entire year with the crazy sock lady patterns. So that's what we're doing there. So I will start this on October 1st. Today is like September 22nd. So I'm waiting anxiously. I'm also going to do the Telly Bean Knits, Telly Bean Makes, uh, mystery, Haunted House Mystery Knit Along. It's a cowl and it's the first 13 days of October. So these two are going to be my first day one cast on. So this has a bunch of minis in it and I am going to do it mystery style. So I'm going to like pick it out <laughs> with my hands just like uh, things. This it is in my Forbidden Fiber Company bag and it was for the Wednesday Adams collection because I love Wednesday Adams, so I'm going to be like Thing and grab my mini skeins out. Um, so those are my first two. The other mystery knit along that I am participating in is the Stephen West Geo Gradient Shawl. So I will, I finally got to pick my yarn. Um, let me show you. I have, this is Forbidden Fiber Company's Gluttony Sock and it is called Fresh Parchment. I then also have Fiberologies uh, on their Squish Sock. This is their August Agatha Christie colorway. It's Death on the Nile. I also have um, La Bien Amaze Jasper colorway from uh, Ritual Dyes. My sister got a gift card for them. She won it in a make-along and she so generously shared it with me. So I'm getting to try my very first La Bien Amaze skein and it's quite pricey which is why we bought it with a gift card she bought one too hot take i'm not actually seeing a difference between this and other skeins of yarn that are not as expensive maybe i'll feel differently when i knit it but it's nice it's beautiful but i don't know if it's nine dollars more beautiful than this game because i love this game just as much and i love this game as well i don't know it's my hot take come for me in the comments if you think I'm wrong and I'm gonna, my mind's gonna be changed. Um, this is on their Twist Nouveau base and it's uh, non superwash merino. So I need to pay attention and not accidentally felt this. And my last colorway, it's actually a sock set that I'm gonna split and not use the mini. This is Felicity Yarn Studio and the main color is Blue Jean Baby. Uh, it's a one of a kind. And this is, this is blue eye. So I don't think I'm going to end up using the mini, but maybe I'll pop it in. Maybe Steven will give you some options for popping it in. And then my last colorway is, cause he said there's an opportunity for mohair. So I'm going to, I try and take all the opportunities, but Steven West is like, there's an opportunity for embellishments. I try and do the embellishments. Um, cause I think that's like the fun of his knit-alongs is that there are they're eccentric. They are more than you would normally do. So lean into it, I guess, is that's what I'm doing. Um, this is a one of a kind colorway from Bay Street Yarns. They're not dyeing yarn anymore, but I think it goes pretty well with this. It'll look nice like this. I think it's gonna be great. So I'm also doing the mystery knit along. And you're like, yeah, it's three project. That's enough. Yeah, I got way more than that. I am also doing a test knit for Lovely by Lee. And it, this is, um, it's her Daisy Bomber cardigan test knit, which is due October 6th. So I probably will cast it on soon because I have that means I have six stages to knit a cardigan and that's a lot. Um, this is Open Skies Yarn Breakfast at Tiffany's colorway. I have two skeins of it. It's 438 yards. 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 5% stellina. My sister so generously gave this to me um, when I didn't like the colorway that I had and I felted it. So, thank you, Chelsea. Um, And then my last thing that I'm making is also a test knit for, oh no, knit sisu, sisu? Uh, it's, I don't know how to say it. Um, it is, it's called the pick me top and it's, it's, it's kind of looks like this top, but knit with some stripes. Um, so this colorway is by Maker's Haven. She's no longer dyeing yarn. She writes books and like 
um, I think the first book was In Light of Luna or On Luna Time. Uh, the Crazy Sock Lady opened a box by her, a book box with yarn in it like three or four years ago and I fell in love with it. And then I got pregnant and all these things happened and the pandemic happened and I never read the book or used the yarn so now I'm doing that. And I am pairing it with this beautiful purple mohair that I'm hoping goes okay. It's 72% kid mohair, 28% silk. It is whimsical colors, hand dyed on San Juan Island. And the colorway is raspberry. I got this from my local yarn store, which is Fillery. This never came with a ball band or it came, it came packaged. Like it was wrapped in like a like tissue paper, but I don't know where it went because that was two children ago, two children and a pandemic ago. <laughs> I was a different gab said so I have no idea so hopefully I can get this top done all this is also all done by the end of October I also one of my designs also just got accepted into a publication that's due on November 10th and it's a dress so there's that too um so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine skeins for plans plus this one I think is a skein and it's probably 50 grams so we'll say 10 and then this I know is at least 13 minis so I have 10 skeins 13 minis <laughs> that I plan to knit in October I don't plan on getting them done I don't think they're all gonna get done I think the one that's honestly not gonna get done is the MCAL um yeah I think that one is my one that's gonna fall by the wayside I'm pretty I'm I'm highly confident that I can get these socks done. I'm decently confident in my mini skein that I can also get that done. And I will at least get one of these sweaters done, especially if I start the Daisy Bomber ahead of time. So those are my October plans. Also, if you're watching our 12 labors of Knit Keeley's, this is what my yarn um, cubbies look like after my sister has stolen something. Do you notice anything missing? Because I noticed a hole right here there's a hole so I'm like what did she take did she take it from there Ooh. and then I thought that she had taken this skein but obviously not because I'm holding it um yeah 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 I don't know I don't know what's missing um I've been staring I keep staring at my yarn like what did you take I also have the thing that I stole from her but I haven't um figured out how I'm going to like slip it into my projects so she noticed she doesn't notice that I'm doing a project that I didn't plan ahead to make so yeah I don't know it's not in this this isn't I hit it I actually I hit it in um I hit it in my workout clothes like they're clean but like in my workout clothes drawer I hid this game because I I stole it first so I couldn't put it into my stash because we thought it would be hilarious if she accidentally stole the yard back from me so I hid it in my workout clothes because I have a lot of workout clothes. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Oh, I think I'm supposed to make socks, but I don't know how I'm going to slip in socks. Maybe I'll do it in November. I have to do it in a time where Chaley's pretty hectic and she's like busy with work and traveling and <coughs> excuse me. She's everywhere all at once. So she's not paying as close attention to me. Or I just have to throw a bunch of information at her at the same time so I can confuse her. Yeah. I'm better at deception than Chaley is in general, but I'm also more chaotic. So me, so the chance of me figuring out what she's taken is super unlikely. Like she's, she's better at figuring out about knowing her stash and knowing what she's got, but I'm better at lying. So we'll see. Maybe comment below and tell, tell us who do you think is going to pull this off or neither of us. Anyway, um, I'll catch you for Vlogtober. Hello, it's Che coming to you with my planned projects for this October while we are running Vlogtober. So I think this is going to come after our intro part, but I don't know where my sister's going to put it. So. Here we are. Hopefully we have already introduced ourselves and what we're going to be doing. Um, so I know my sister has some exciting plans as well. Um, my knitting or making for October is not necessarily going to be like a traditional like advent 
based or like advent like thing where you do one thing every day. I just have general projects that I would like to make in the month because they are either thematic, I have to make them because it's a test knit or I need to finish it for a gift or it's just yarn I have one been wanting to make for a while that also kind of works for some other um, knit alongs that we might be participating in. So I'm going to start off first by sharing the things that I am absolutely dedicated to working on in October or over the course of Vlogtober, starting off with my test knit that I am a part of. This is, oh my goodness, how have I forgotten the name of this project? Also, where did I put the pattern? Woo! Chegli Koizumi, what have you done? Now we are going in a circle. Hold on, I'm pretty confident it's gonna be over here. Of course it's not over here. This is hilarious. Okay, hold on. If I were Chaley, where would I have put the pattern? Wait, it's gotta be in the bag, don't you think? Clearly I am starting off super duper 100% organized. My God, it is a pattern. Did I not print the pattern? No, I printed the pattern. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, I don't have the pattern to show you, but it is the excavation sweater, sorry about that, um, by Mary of Hunt Hand Knits, uh, Mary Hunt. And I am test knitting this pattern. And unfortunately I don't have it to show to you because I don't know where I put the pattern. So I will have to go find that or I will reprint it, which is probably a good idea anyways, because there's been some corrections to the pattern since I printed it. Alrighty, anywho, this is my start to it. Clearly, I am not very far along. It is a colorwork sweater, and it is an all-over colorwork sweater, a yoked sweater. The sleeves themselves even have colorwork, and it is designed so that you could use an advent with it, which is super cool. I am not doing that. I am going to do three different colors. For mine, it is a DK weight sweater, so it should go by pretty fast. I'd imagine this is going to be very snuggly. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. I have three different colors. My main color, they're all nitpicks swish DK. And so my main color is in um, white. <laughs> so that is the main color I'm using. And then for my two contrasts, I am doing my favorite colors, which are pink and gray. I actually don't have a pink and gray sweater. So I'm pretty excited about this. You can tell like what Chaley's colors are, especially if you've been with us for a while. And so the pink is called frosting, super cute. And then the gray that I am using is dove heather. So very excited. And now that I've had some trips that I've already done that are kind of like week, week and a half long spurts. So I didn't bring um, this with me because I didn't have the yarn. And also it felt like I wasn't gonna have a lot of time, but my next trip, I have one week that I am here in October and then I head on that three week trip. And so I think during that time, since I'll be kind of stationed in one spot, either with my sister or with our parents, I will have some time for this. So I am going to shove this big baby into my suitcase. Nobody fret, I am checking a bag. So all of the knitting will fit while I am up in the Bay Area during October. So that is the sweater piece I am working on. I guess I could set the goal of trying to work on like a color work strip per day, but it also kind of depends on my schedule for the day. Sometimes I work really long days um, where my visits will start at like 8 a.m., 7.30 a.m. And then I have college fairs after my visits. So then I don't actually get home until eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night. So those are pretty long 12 or 13 hour days. So I'm not gonna feel stressed about trying to do this every day. Maybe I have some other things that I could work on. The other big project that I am bringing is actually a gift for, oh, and this bag, sorry, this bag my dad made for me. This is my cute little bicycles um, bag. I thought that it matched the colors that I selected really well. So that's why I picked this bag. 
Uh, this other bag my daddy also made for me. This is my villains, uh, like little cartoon villains bag of the ladies um, of the villains. And this houses the blanket that I am making for Gabs and I's grandmother. We call her Vubby. So this is my Vubby blanket. I am committed to finishing this because her birthday is in December. Her birthday is December 22nd. And it could either be for birthday or we do celebrate Christmas. So it could be for Christmas for her. There's not a huge day difference between them. So I absolutely could um, decide either one, but I'm making it for Vubby for December. If I really need those extra couple of days, it'll be a Christmas present. I do have a backup gift that could switch um, between birthday and Christmas. So I am doing a scrappy granny square blanket for my Vubby. And I have decided to make it more of like a lap blanket. Um, she's been having some problems with her knees and hips. So I thought it would be nice to keep her warm um, during the winter. And I have been working on this, I believe since last spring. So it's kind of an ongoing um, whip for me. Yeah, it's taken some bit, but I am committing to having it done. And our Vubby, she really likes blue, um, but I didn't have all blue. So I decided to do cool colors uh, for her blanket. I'm making another blanket for myself, but you'll see that during Vlogmas. And so I chose like purples and blues and greens and grays to do her blanket and so this is clearly very organized um, and most of these were oopsie yarns that were either projects that they're scraps from projects I have made they're scraps from projects my sister has made even some that my dad has made and now that I'm getting towards the end I'm running out of cool colors um, that I'm able to use for this so I went into my stash found some more scraps that I could use and I had a bunch of my row one minis that I don't need to just have them so I'm going to put them into my Vubby's blanket and so I have 45 of the squares done I need 64 um, for what I want to make for Vubby so 19 more so I went and picked out 19 other colors uh, to take with me. I am crocheting these. Um, I am following Nitty Natty's uh, free granny square pattern and I am doing it where I have six rows, rounds, um, for the square. They are not all the same size because the yarns, like they're all fingering weight, but kind of a different finger weight. It's fine. She's cool. So I think I'll be okay. Um, so I am working on that. And then the color that I'm going to use um, to join everything, I haven't decided yet which join I'm going to do. Uh, I'm using this yarn, which is called The Shire. It is from Destination Yarn. It is actually very luxe because it is a first class silk. So she's getting a silk blanket. Um, which was actually given to me by our uncle Anthony, who is Bubby's son. Um, so it'll be nice that it's kind of like, and so it's an ROI there, some return on investment, uh, cause he might get to enjoy the blanket as well, but I thought it would be special to use this yarn for her. So I have one skein of it, but Anthony had given this yarn to my dad as well, as well as my sister. Um, so they have some yarn that I could use. Um, should the one skein not be enough? I don't know if the one skein's enough. Um, so I, my dad already found his and said I could use some of it if I needed it for the blanket. So that, this is the thing I think I'm going to commit to doing at least one square a day. And then after that, start joining at least one square a day. So again, it's not going to work out perfectly in the 31 days or whatever, but it at least is going to push me to chug along on it because then I have all of November to really get my act together um, to finish this one for the holidays and her birthday. So this is another big one. Good thing I am checking a bag so I can squish these suckers in there. All right. And then in addition to that, I have just picked out a couple of yarns that I want to work with um, because they're Halloween themed, fall themed, or just something that I've already gotten together because I um, want to work on specifically making socks, um, a couple of socks for um, the Knit the Rainbow accessory uh, knit along, knit along, yes, I believe it's knit along or make along um, that is hosted by Gary Knits, Gary Rides. And this is an accessory drive where all of the items are going to be donated um, to LGBTQ plus youth. I believe it's either in Detroit or New York. Um, 
I bet my sister and I have talked about this before. Our dad is also participating. So I've made a couple of things already and want to continue that uh, during this season. So I've picked out a couple yarns that will also double dip me a little bit into at least for sure. Um, K the Crazy Sock Ladies Spooky Make Crazy Spooky um, Make Along. And so this is the first one that I have gotten together for myself. I kicked this up a while ago, and of course I became, I came 0% prepared for you all. Please hold while I go search for the tag for this. I apologize. You know, I am not my most organized self. I, oh, I'm not even in the camera. Ha, <laughs> okay. So I came back from a trip, a week long trip last night. So I am just trying to like shotgun get myself together i have found it thank goodness um so this is from gusto i think it's pronounced gusto gusto it could also be gusto um wool and i believe it's the base is called carmen it is sock weight and the color is 1403. So that is this one. I had a lot of trouble winding this baby up because it got really like in itself. So it took me like 45 minutes to put this into a ball. So I am knitting with this yarn. I spent so much of my life putting this into its ball. I'm gonna knit with this baby. So I think I will cast this on as my next pair of socks um, for the Knit the Rainbow accessory drive. Um, and then the next one that I have picked out, so I picked out fingering yarn as well as some DK yarn so I can kind of get in between both. Uh, these are all going to be socks. Um, this is another one I think I'm going to donate. This is a yarn from Arcane Fiber Works. And so this is a fun one and it is very on brand for the season because it is called Hocus Pocus. So I am excited to um, cast this one on to do another pair to donate. And then I think these other two, I think are gonna be socks for me because um, I do wanna keep these colors. And the first is going to be from Amanda Knits. This is another DK and this is her, it's on Stupio DK. Um, ooh, it is 80% uh, Merino, Superwash Merino, 10% Nylon, 10% Cashmere. Treat your feet, folks, as my sister likes to say. And so this one is called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So that is, I don't actually think I've watched the movie, so maybe you're not supposed to say it three times. Whoopsie dupsie. Well, that's what it's called. Well, now I've said it, so it's too late for us, apparently. Um, but this is, I never watched the movie because it scared me, which now this is probably not good. So I'm going to scare myself thinking that there's going to be some kind of a scary person in my home, but it's the daytime, so we should be okay. Um, so this is it. I'm excited about this. I bought this a while ago while Amanda was having a sale. So I've been holding on to it so that I could knit this specifically during the month of Halloween. And so I could have some spooky, spooky socks. Um, and then these, this is my next one. This is a fingering weight that I think I want to do throughout this month as well. Um, and so this is from Desert Vista Dye Works. It's called Zombody Eating Candy Corn. So also very on brand for October. So I am pretty excited about this as well. And so these four will just kind of live in I'll probably get at least one DK and maybe one, maybe one of the fingerings. I haven't decided um, as easy to pick up knitting um, while I am traveling. Oftentimes between my visits, I have a long time, so I like to pick up socks. And so working on the sweater isn't super easy. And then kind of dragging around the blanket also isn't easy either. So I like to have some vanilla socks ready for me to go. So these aren't necessarily set goals, I will say, except for the sweater, which I didn't say the sweater isn't actually due. I believe the test ends on like November 26th, um, but I would like to get it done in the month of October. Um, and then obviously the blanket isn't technically due until December, but also would love to get that in October. These other four yarns that I've picked out are what I'm calling filler. So those are my filler projects. I will take you along on my journey through Vlogtober, switching off with Gabs on our various projects. So maybe you might, I might quickly finish one in a day and you could be shocked. Probably not, but you know, let's have high aspirations for ourselves. So those are the different things I'll be working on and I'm excited for you all to join us on this journey.